All right, section 5.7, the fundamental theorem of algebra. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, it is no different than 5.6. We just have a couple more problems to practice. But the good thing with this one is not all of the answers are going to be real. Okay. So what do we do if they're not all real solutions? Okay, well, we'll run across that when we get to it. All right, so we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did before. So the possible solutions for this problem are positive negative 1, positive negative 8, positive negative 2, positive negative 4. Okay, that's it. So those are the possible solutions, but I'm not going to guess and check. I am going to use the calculator. Hopefully you have one that you can use. Again, if not, access the one that you can through the computer. All right, let me type this one in. So we've got x to the third power minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 8. All right, let's take a look. All right, we only see one solution, and this thing has three solutions. Okay, as I mentioned already, not these are going to not all be real solutions. All right, so we see that. Let's see, let's look again. Yep, four. Four is a solution, so four. All right. <clears throat> All right, I don't need any zeros, so I got one, negative four, two, negative eight. All right, here we go. Bring down the four, one, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. And again, I do need to end up with a zero. I also see I've got a zero in the problem. All right, so what's going on here? Well, we're going to drop down one exponent, so this is x squared. I do need do not need to put the zero x in there, so I've got x squared plus two. I'm going to set that equal to zero. Aha! We can solve this equation. Okay, since the middle term is missing, we can solve it by subtracting 2 from both sides. So we've got x squared equals negative 2. All right, square root both sides. And remember, when we square root both sides, we put a plus and a minus, or a positive and negative in front of that. So now we have x equals positive negative square roots of negative 2. Aha, I've got a negative inside though, so that means I need to simplify that. And the negative, remember, the square root of a negative becomes an i. So that means I got positive negative, I can't do anything with the 2, and then I'm going to put the i on the outside. So that, those are the other two solutions and don't forget the one we started with, okay? The one we started with was 4. So we need to also put that one down. Okay, so those are the three solutions. Two of them are imaginary. All right. Let's see what happens with this next one. So again, possible solutions of 4. Positive negative 1, positive negative 4, positive negative 2, positive negative 2. Okay, well there aren't that many. So again you could guess and check, but I'm going to use the calculator to help. But first I'm going to write this out. So I've got my lead coefficient is 1. I notice, ladies and gentlemen, that x cubed is missing, so I'm going to put a 0. And then I've got an x squared, so I'm going to put a negative 3. Oh, look, x is missing. I need another 0. 
and then I need negative 4. Okay, so watch out. Okay, there's no x squared was missing and x was missing. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can find a solution so we don't have to guess and check. So again, we've got x to the fourth. Okay, remember that means there are four solutions. Minus 3x squared minus 4. All right, let's take a look. Ah, that looks very interesting. So I see two solutions. I see negative 2 and 2. All right. Well, let's uh, begin with negative 2. That's a real solution. So I'm going to begin with negative 2. All right, here we go. Bring down the 1. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add, multiply. Good, we ended up with zero. Okay, but I still have three, four terms there, which means I can't factor it yet. So I'm going to drop down again, and I'm going to do this again. And that means I need the other solution that I can see, which is two. Two. All right, bring down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. All right, I ended up with a 0. Well, that means, okay, since I did that twice, I've dropped down two levels, so now I'm at x squared. So I've got x squared skip that zero plus one equals zero okay well just like the last one we're going to go ahead and subtract one so x squared equals negative one square root put that positive and negative in front well you should remember that the square root of negative 1 is i, so that means the other two solutions are positive, negative, i. Those are the two imaginary solutions. Okay, now don't forget the other two solutions. x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. Okay, don't forget to add those to the solutions. All right, there we go. Now, what if you could not have solved it the way we did? Okay, so sometimes you may have to use the quadratic formula. Now remember, when you are using the quadratic formula, you have to get it down to a quadratic. All right. So you still have to, whoops, let me, let me redo that. I jumped ahead of myself here. Okay, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So you still got to get it down to a quadratic in order to use the quadratic formula. Okay, on these two, we did not have to use the quadratic formula. All right, good luck on that, ladies and gentlemen.